Hello and welcome to our lesson for design and technology. In the last lesson, we had seen how to manufacture the first part of a simple organizer. And today, we are going to look at the second part. In this lesson, we will be able to mark wood at an angle, hold and cut timber. We will also be able to mark centers of holes to be drilled and to use a hand drill. Mr. Silvio is going to explain to us these processes. Now we are going to start preparing part B of the organizer. To do this, we are going to use a piece of wood which has already been prepared to its required size and length. Now I'm going to mark the position where the slant edge is going to start. Now we are going to mark the slant edge on the workpiece. So to do this, we are going to use a sliding bubble. Let us set the sliding bubble at the required angle which is 150 degrees. Now that we have set the angle to 150 degrees, let us now tighten this screw so that it stays in position. Now I'm going to mark this start edge on the wood using the pencil. As you can see, we have marked this inclined edge on the face side and now we are going to proceed further with the marking out. For this, I'm going to use the tri-square again to mark a line on the edge at this point and another line to the other extremity of the Line. And to complete the marking, I'm going to use the marking gauge again on the other side. Let us put a small mark on the face first, and then we can mark the line. Okay, now let us mark the joint at the bottom of the workpiece. So we are now again, again going to use a ruler to set the depth of the joint on the face side. To proceed again with the marking, let us now use the tri-square to mark the wood all round. Now, to complete the marking, I'm going now to use another marking gauge which has already been set, right, to obtain the tenon that is going to be inserted afterwards in the whole part of part A. Again, to make the line visible, we are going to pass a tip of our pencil in the scribe mark. Now, let us proceed to cutting the joint. For this, I'm going to place the wood in the bench vise at a certain angle and I'm going to use now the tenon saw to cut the waist. As usual, we should be marking the waist with some touching lines. Now let us start cutting the joint with the tenon saw.
up to the walking line. We are now going to reverse the piece of wood and cut on the other side. Now, to finish cutting in this direction, I'm now going to place the wood in this way and now continue cutting back to the north. Before we remove the waste across the timber, I'm now going again to use the marking knife to cut the first layers of fiber here so that we have a nice and clean finish of the wood. Now I'm going to place the wood again in the vise, horizontally like this, and start cutting the vise. Now let us cut the other part of the wood. As you can see here, we have already cut the part that is going to fit part A. Now I'm going to cut the waist part of the slant edge, but now I'm going to hold this piece of wood in between against crack wood so that we can cut easily. As usual, we are going to use our pencil to cut out the waste. We can now remove the saw marks on the edge of the wood by planing it with our jack plane. I'm now going to plane it down to the locking line and also remove it at the same time the saw line. So let us now mark the position of the screw eyes. To do this, I'm going to use the ruler again and the pencil. We are going to start 10 millimeters from the edge here and mark the line. With the aid of our um, tri-square, we are now going to mark another line to obtain the center point. Now, at the middle of the workpiece, I'm going to draw another line. And step 15 millimeters from the top. Finally, from the other edge, I'm going again to mark two points are 10 millimeters and again here have another marking for the third screw line so as you can see we have marked all the position of the screw line now I'm going to use another piece of wood where the center point for the screw eyes 
has already been marked and establish the point where we are going to drill afterwards with a brado. This is a brado. Let us now drill the pilot hole. For this, I'm going to place the workpiece again in the vise. And to drill the pilot hole, I'm going to use a hand drill and a drill of the required size. Let me now secure the drill in the, in the jaw of the hand drill and start drilling the pilot hole. So, as you can see here, the pilot hole to receive the screw height has already been made. Now, before we proceed further, let us check whether the part A and part B fits well together. As you can see, we have here a clean end nice joint and we can now proceed to prepare part C. In this lesson we have been able to mark wood at an angle, hold and cut timber, mark centers of holes to be drilled and we have been able to use a hand drill. This brings us to the end of our second lesson in the manufacture of our organizer. Do remember that you can watch all of our videos on the website of the Ministry of Education under the Student Support section. Do catch us for the next part of the manufacture of our organizer. Until then, goodbye.